I'm going to demonstrate how to add an adaptive card visual to Power BI and then use that card to send an image of the card to Teams. So the first thing we'll do here is we will grab a visual. Now this is the latest test visual, so we'll just grab it from here. And we'll put it on the report. Now this is, um, you've been watching some other visuals, this is the, uh, the dreaded stock control page. Um, so let's, let's get started by, we're gonna use a category to get us started. Helps to get these things in the right order, otherwise the visual might have trouble starting up. So that's why I put the category in there first so that it's got something to work on. Now we're going to render a card. Um, I can't remember if I've, my card is sitting in Azure storage so I'll just copy the URL in here and then Oh, there's something happening. Now, you see here it has says task name, so we need to get the task name in here, so we'll just rename this as task name. And there we have the task name, and we'll just verify it. That's changing as we select things. Um, I've got a couple of other measures here that we'll just quickly drop in. Um, so we'll drop the task description in, which will give us a default task description. Um, and I'll add the username. This is a hidden field, which will also go through to um, as we send it. Now here we have um, who we're going to assign the work to and I have a, a little list here that I've prepared before I'll show you how it's done later but we'll just um, drop it in and now we have a list of people as well so this is almost ready to go um, what we need now is just somewhere to send it when we hit the action so we'll do that next. Here we are in Flow, or as we call it now, Microsoft Power Automate. And we're going to create a flow to, to use from our adaptive card. So this will be an automated card, and we'll, we'll call it um, card test. Well, we're going to call it card test two because I've got another one in there somewhere. Um, and we'll just skip this bit and we'll look for HTTP. And there we go. Now we don't yet have a schema, so we're going to generate one. So we'll give it an empty one. Um, and then and we'll go response send a response back of okay That's not that important, but it's nice for it to say something. Um, and why didn't we get a name? Let's give it a name. Um, card demo two. Okay. 
We'll save it. And now we've got a URL to send to. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to go back to our task and put that URL in right here as our target. Okay. So let's give it a go. Let's, let's go ship's horn. This is just a, um, a default. We can type in these fields. And we'll just send. And there we go. The task has been submitted. We'll go and check and see what happened in the browser. There it is. Now what's good is we can actually see what the output looks like and there it is right there. So we'll copy that. And you can also view the output here as well. So it's easy to tell what's going on. And we'll edit this. a sample because we know what the sample looks like now there we go there's our sample do that and save that Now we're going to use the adaptive card designer to, to create a card to display the information. So we're going to start with a blank card. This is the designer at adaptivecards.io. Okay. So, um, and really what we're going to do is just add some text blocks. So we'll do that. Okay, and for the text, we're just going to put in what's there. We're going to go start date. just some basic fields and we'll just select this copy it and we'll go back to our flow and what we're going to do now is we're going to add a step. On adaptive cards. And there we go. Post an adaptive card to a team channel. We're not going to wait for a response. We're just going to send it there. So, um...
we'll select our team, select our channel, and we'll put our message in here. Hopefully we get the right one, there we go. And we'll just dynamically add Okay, there's that little glitch there. Let's just uh, finish this off. It's a good idea to save this while you're, you're working on it. Due date. Task name. Oops, it went down there. This is the problem I've been having. I don't know what's causing this. in the right place now hang on I'll just pause this and fix it task name oh look it's still put it in the wrong place let's try and get this last bit right Now you'll notice I've added an assign field in here. That's gone in the right place. And now we can save this. And we are now ready. If we select all of the fields, let's do, um, let's do something new, let's do a doorbell. Okay. Start the day. Finish it later in the week. Give it to the gym. Test the doorbell. Make sure they work. Send it away somewhere. Okay, so we'll see if that worked. Um, in here. Oh, um, and it didn't. We can we can look at that. It will tell us why it didn't work. And it's saying that there was an unexpected end. And look, we can. That was me having trouble with the, the editor there. Have a little look at it, make sure it's got a good end on it. So it's got it. Oh, and there we go. I have deleted that last bracket off it, so we'll, we'll put it back in again. Okay, and that should fix the problem. Let's just go. there and we'll just submit the thing again just refresh that oh look it succeeded so now we can just look straight in teams to see what's occurring um, and look it's broken Well, that's not too good. I think I know what's caused that. I think we've sent the, um, okay, well, obviously we've sent it a card that we can't display. We can fix this. Um, you'll notice that in the designer here, right, we should have gone Microsoft Teams Light, which gives you 1.2. So we'll just hang on. We'll switch to flow, edit it again. And we'll pop in here that 1.2, and I think that's all we need to do. All right, let's have another go. Okay. 
Let's do it again. And we'll check in flow. Let me just, yep. Yeah. And we'll look and see what happens. Teams, and look, Teams has got it right. Um, and we're done there. So um, that's good. Now all the things that I've shown you here are all downloadable and there are some more notes on the blog. Um, but let's just run through a couple of other things here like where did that card come from to start with. We'll do that right now. Um, this, this is a card being edited um, in Visual Studio Code. Um, this was originally created in, um, in the designer. But just for fine tuning, code's quite good for this. And this uses a, um, a little uh, plugin called um, uh, Adaptive Card Studio. Um, and as you can see, here's a little bit. This, this is, this is, these are the IDs that help us with data bindings. It knows what to send. Um, and we've got the values, which is how we, we bind input data to it, like the task name, the task description, and there's the username, which is right at the end after the submit button. You don't see that, but it gets sent. Um, and that's very simple. You can download this and have a look at it. Um, let's also look at what's going on here. Um, and you'll see that I've got the choices. Um, and we'll just go into transform data um, and I've just typed it in as text um, and actually what I've done here is really sneaky I've started off with, with single quotes and I just uh, converted it to a field and replaced the single quotes with double quotes to make sure it's all you know um, compliant JSON nothing terribly clever there. There are better ways of doing this. You could um, just load this as a file, which is what I've done before. So that's that. Um, what else is there? Well, that's about it. Have a look at the blog. Um, have a look at the demo app. Um, and, and have a play with it and get back to us. We can make this work for you. And it's a really quick way um, because cars can be modified to do all sorts of things. This is just beginning with adaptive cards. There'll be a lot more adaptive card stuff coming out um, in the Microsoft space. And, um, and also Paradigm BI will have some additional um, adaptive card visuals coming out very shortly. So, thank you for watching this and if you have any questions you know where to get hold of us. So um, yeah, talk to you soon.